So I'm giving everybody Bitcoin for Christmas. <laughs> I'm printing out 30 paper wallets that were generated using an open source JavaScript based code. Um, I think the website is actually bitcoinpaperwallet.com and also disconnected my computer from the internet and the printer from the internet and I basically uh, was viewing the code generator using um, an offline web browser and then transferring each individual wallet from a USB stick to the printer. Um, then I'm going to print them all out and I'm going to put I'm probably going to put I'm probably going to wind up spending anywhere between two and three thousand dollars but divide it up between the 30 wallets so that like one has point one another one has another couple have point zero one point zero zero five and then I'm basically going to have um, a bowl of 30 numbers that you know 30 family members are going to pick from and it's going to be kind of like a random you know you get you get wallet number one you get wallet number two <laughs> and um, also provide them with like a piece of paper um, with kind of like some more background information on what Bitcoin is and how to store the wallet and how to use the public key and the private key and all that stuff and just kind of to not only give them money for Christmas again with some one someone receiving maybe a thousand dollars or or five hundred or someone receiving a hundred or fifty or twenty dollars um, so not only as a gift in the form of money but also in the form of you know what I fully support and have been making money with and honestly a lot of them are probably not going to do anything with it they're just gonna hold it um, put it in a safe or something probably and you know in a few years or something it might be worth a lot of money so all right before I had it set at a PNG format and it wasn't working so I had to go back to my computer and convert them all to JPEG there we go they're loading now it's gonna be slow because I see only one loaded so far. It's gonna be slow because uh, there's 600. Uh, the resolution is 600 pixels per inch. So I'm assuming. Interesting. It's only letting me select one. Now it looks like another one's trying to load, but it's black. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I, I guess this printer's just slow, so it's gonna. T oh, there, there's some other ones that loaded. Uh -huh. So anyway, I wanna, I wanna print number one first because that's the back, and the back actually doesn't have a public or private key. It's just like when you fold the paper wallet over so that the private key is hidden. Um, the back is another nice printed design with like some holiday decorations and whatnot. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna do 15 pages because I'm gonna take those 15 pages, put them back in to print another 15 pages so that I'm now printing two wallets on each piece of paper, uh, double-sided. So this is gonna have to be 15. 15, there we go. Continue, letter sized, yes, print. I might have made the resolution too high. <laughs> I was going to do 300, but then I wanted it to be like really high quality. This sounds like it's going to take forever. <laughs> oh man. What did we do, Tao? We just created the we just started the longest paper Bitcoin wallet printing process of 2017.
so that took really long. And I'm going to now have to go back in and convert them all back down to 300 pixels per inch, so it's faster, but this is the back of the wallet. And then this flap here would fold, and printed on the other side would be the public key and the private key over here, and you would fold it and then use some sort of tape. And of course, then that would um, give you your rectangular wallet right here with your private key hidden on the other side here. And um, some basic info that bitcoinpaperwallet.com provided, which is really neat, awesome um, free service. Okay, so to make this faster, easier, and also actually to save money because my printer charges me per page that I print instead of me paying for ink, the HP Instant Ink thing. So I made a template so that it's going to print the back side, which I showed you, on another 14 pieces of paper for a total of 15, which would be a total of 30 wallets. And then I also took the... Let's see if I can show you this without showing the private keys so same thing you know those are two separate wallets um I, yeah anyway i'll show you Wow, it's not working. Dude. <laughs> it's like 6 in the morning. What is going on? Insert a memory device into the printer. So now it doesn't even want to read the device. What is happening? This is so weird. Print. I'm just testing it to see if um, to see if it lines up with the uh, the other two back sides. That looks like it printed perfectly. Uh, again, I'm not going to show you the QR codes. Let's see where's the private key. So the private key on this one's on this side. And then the private key is on this side for this one. So, yeah, that looks like it worked out well. <laughs> I can show you from far away because you can't see it. Awesome. So that's what the finished product's going to look like. Of course, I'm not going to show you the actual wallets with the private keys on them. And, yo, yo, dude, stop it. And um, this site actually also sells like these little bags that fit the cars in them. And actually, I don't know what size that is. I don't know. Um, and also these little holographic stickers to cover the private key just for when you like give it to them for the first time or whatever. So that's it. That is Christmas this year.